Let's get to it though. So like I said, it's a concoction. I got the big camera out there. That's why you're seeing a little bit of a different angle here. I got the tiny camera tripod up on the tower. You know, we got a little extra camera space here. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna bring you guys close when we're prepping everything. So I'm not gonna be on the camera too much tonight. The focus is gonna be on the burgers and then we'll get outside on the grill. So I'm gonna take y'all for a little, a little ride here, right on down to our beautiful cutting board. All right, main product. You use the beef of your choice, but I get a killer deal on this stuff. If you ever find this brand, 10 out of 10 recommend. It is actually very good, great for burgers, tasty. Get it for $7 a pound, which I think is actually relatively spot on. I think like regular ground beef is like $4, a little, a little more expensive, you know, but a lot more flavor, which, you know, we like. And then you see, we got a little plethora of some things here, some nice rolls, cheese, bacon. We're gonna do some green leaf lettuce, a little pick, a little, Thousand Island and uh, I think we're gonna grill up some corn too because it's a summer night. It's 85 degrees out here in Raleigh We got some Worcestershire It's gonna be going in the burger Got a little truffle salt. This is a small batch I'm sure you could find this in like bigger batches, but that's a small batch and a half Stick of butter All right, so I'm, I'm gonna pop this in here real quick because the one big thing is when you get the ground beef in the bowl You don't really want the butter to be hot you want the butter to kind of be more like a room temp. So we're gonna, we're gonna get that started. And uh, pretty much it's straightforward if any of y'all have ever made burgers before. And there's really no pretty way to do this, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm gonna actually pre-run my water because we're gonna, be, we're gonna be getting all sorts up in that. But there you go. So it's gonna look like that when you drop it in. I'll try to get a good angle here. I know it's a little hard with the camera height. And uh, we're pretty much gonna start up here with the washer shear. Very simple, we're gonna go. You know, let it drool over just a little bit. A, a hearty, hearty tablespoon there. Let that sit up, not too much, just a little bit. Grab the butter, yum butter, piping hot. And that more or less, like at that hot of uh, the butter, it's gonna kind of do some weird things to the meat. So let's that sit there. You know, we'll let it do a little marinade here for a couple minutes. You know, we're gonna do a little pinch of the truffle sea salt. Like I said, you probably could find this, you know, a little more wholesale or somewhere around you. Get that on there. We'll, we'll, let, we'll let the juices and the salt do a little work there to the meat as we wait for uh, that butter to cool down a little bit. And in the meantime, we'll prep our corn. We like to grill corn. Everyone's got their own methods, you know. We like to grill it. Good flavor, nice and easy. Give me one sec here, we're gonna soak the top. Helps it not burn up in there, a little moisture. Just take some tin foil, roll it up, baby. Real simple, get that tuck in there so that's not hanging out, get burned, boom. Grip it and rip it, y'all, simple. And thank you everybody coming in, dropping by, I appreciate you. I hope you're having a wonderful night. We got a double up stream, midweek cooking stream. I think we're gonna be rolling like this moving forward here to see how the next step goes, rocking some of these during the week along with the gaming stream. So as I said, thanks for being here, y'all. Hope you have a good evening. You're dropping me a couple resubs, some biddies. You guys show me love, baby. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you so much, guys. And I didn't see the specific names there, but just know I love you and I appreciate you. All right, that's done there. Butter should be cool. All right, so what we're gonna do here is two, two steps. Like I said, we got the Worcestershire in there, we got the truffle salt in there. Now we're gonna put this butter in. It's still a little warm, but time waits for no man. We're just gonna get it in there, bada bing. And at first I'll take the spoon a little bit and just like make sure it gets soaked up a little bit more so you're not just like handling liquid. And then, like I said, Chad, it ain't, it ain't pretty. You gotta be willing sometimes to get your, you know, get your hands dirty in the kitchen. All right. You know, I washed my hands before I started, but probably wouldn't have been a terrible idea to wash it after handling the tin foil. But listen, that's all right. Half a stick of butter for anybody wondering. Half a stick for a pound of ground beef. And like I said, Worcestershire, I do a healthy uh, tablespoon and um, the truffle sea salt. Kind of, yeah, you know, I kind of just grip it and rip it. I don't really have a measurement. So this is gonna make four burgers for a pound. At least that's what we aim for. Sometimes, you know, they're a little lopsided. One might be a little bit bigger than another. We're gonna look, we wanna get four burgers out of this. 
I'm just gonna drop them down here, you know, as we make them, because it ain't pretty. And it's good to note, I might as well let y'all know too, so I do mine outside because sometimes this type of cooking can get a little smoky. So I heat up the cast iron pan out on the grill, right? So right now we got the cast iron pan out there heating up. It's been going probably for about 20 minutes. You know, you want to get it nice and hot. You always do like a little water test where like you just put a little drop of water on the pan and if it scatters and sizzles, that's how you know she's ready to rock. Give me one sec, y'all, the butter. Really got to get in there, wash it up on the hands because that shit is thick. <sighs> All right. We're going to do some bacon too. So the way we do the bacon when we do this, and I'm about to show you a little sneak peek on the, uh, the grill cam. We're not quite ready for it yet. We do the bacon on the grill as well. I got some left over here. We didn't buy a new pack or nothing, you know? We got a fresh plop. We don't do crazy things. So I got a little griddle pan. You buy it, you can buy them like individually. They're like tin foil. Throw some, uh, well not tin foil, but you know what I mean. Throw some aluminum foil over the top. You know? So the grease doesn't leak through onto the flame. And you're good. Boar's head, the best cold cuts there are. I don't care what you say. If you know, you know. All right, we're gonna do a little scene switcheroo here, you know. Don't, don't be act too surprised. Boom! Ain't a pretty grill, you know, but she works. She do the job. She do the job, though. Right, corn takes a little bit. So we're gonna throw that on there. You know what I'm actually gonna do? Let's bring that bacon pan forward because I'm gonna need to handle that a little bit more. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna use them tongs. Just throw the corn on there. That'll go the whole time, pretty much. We'll pull that corn off last second. It'll be ready to go. That thing can kind of just like slow cook out there. We're coming in here and just, we're just dropping it down. Bacon will kind of slow cook as well. It's not gonna like sizzle up super fast like you would get inside. Hopefully the camera's looking all right. I can't see it when I'm out here, so I'm kind of just, we're just going in, you know, we'll do it live. We're gonna close that up, let that uh, get started there. And we're heading back in. Good quality. How's the mic sound out there? Hopefully pretty good. It looks a little framey. Oh, we're looking good though. The tag looks a little framey, you know, in the wind, but maybe that's just, you know, that's just what it is. Let's prep the rolls up. So listen, these rolls, you, you do the rolls you like to do, but I'm gonna let you know right now, these burgers, they're juicy this way. So I get, you know, I, I, what's the name? Hold on, I have them in, more in the pantry. I'll tell you the exact name of these rolls that we get. And they're a little big for the bun. So one of my biggest things is when you get a burger, gotta have a good bun to burger ratio. These are called Tellera rolls. T-E-L-E-R-A, I might be butchering that pronunciation. Um, so they, they got a nice, bottom fluffy eats up the juice and i'll tell you you want that because these burgers are mad juicy for those of you who don't know what smash burgers are we're going to push these down and more or less they're going to shallow fry in all their goodness we'll top these off here with a little bit more of the truffle salt it has a nice topping and then uh we're actually probably going to head out back to the grill and get these bad boys uh, started we usually you know if we eat corn we like to eat the main meal and then eat the corn it's kind of like a dessert of the summer, huh? Jay's looking for the scraps right now. Smart dog, you know, I don't, I don't blame her. I don't blame her. All right, I'm going to throw my beverages out there. Give me one sec, y'all. We're heading out back to the grill. I wonder if it's like a wireless thing. Maybe the wall gets in the way. My neighbors are all outside. They're probably like, what the hell? What is that boy doing over there? All right, switch it back out there. Give me one sec, y'all. Out of a candle holder? Okay, I'm gonna serve you when I get back out there. Drooby. You know, I happen to catch that message in chat. I don't see all the messages in chat. All right. 
First of all, this, Alyssa gave me this for Christmas. It's golf ball, buddy. Don't you see it? Nice little golf ball, huh? Fancy whiskey drinking glass. Everyone's gotta have a fancy whiskey drinking glass. If you don't, you know what you're doing. Hmm? What are you doing? All right. Bacon's going, corn's going. Good, good, good. I'll show you guys the little test that I usually do just to make sure that the cast iron pan's ready to rock. Oh, 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 it's ready, baby. It's time. It's time. All right, so this is pretty much what we're gonna do. It's a simple process. We're gonna take a burger, we're gonna drop, <laughs> the, the neighbor's dog's barking, and we're gonna drop it right on the pan. We're gonna let it cook 30 seconds, one minute maybe max, right? Once that's done, we smash them. So you wait to smash until the burger's already cooked a little bit. Then we're gonna smash them down, let it cook a little more, flip it, let it cook a little more. Then we're gonna double cheese. All right, we don't, we don't go shy on the cheese on the smash burgers. You wanna see those bad boys smothered. Oh, hey now, a little uh, splashy splash. Sorry, the bacon might stick a little bit. Whoa, whoa, party foul. Easy now, him being a sort of fire. A little grease fire. I need to move this bacon to the back burner. Get a little more temp. We'll let the corn slow cook a bit. Bacon down here, the burner. It ain't doing its job. We need you warmer, bacon. Get in there, get cooked. All right. So you'll see right when you drop it down, these things go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Exactly what you want to hear here, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to drop the lid. We're going to let it cook a little bit. Get nice and juicy, nice and warm. You know, like I said, 30 seconds, one minute. Give or take there. Let it get a little smoke. Yeah, you can see the frames. Well, why is that so framey? That's gonna drive me mad. All right, so these bad boys are going, ready? You're gonna come in here. It's gonna get a little sticky. I gotta get a better spatula, to be honest. This is a new venture for me with the Smash Burgers. You're just coming in. And just be violent. Get it down. This one's not, I wouldn't recommend doing what I'm doing, like a doofus, and using a spatula that has holes in the top. You'd be much better off using one that doesn't, but like I said, this is the deli, not fine cooking, so sometimes we just wing shit, all right, ladies and gentlemen? And boom, and you're gonna smash them down like that, hence the name Smash Burger. All right, then we're gonna close it back down. We're gonna let it go a little bit, and then we're gonna hit them with a flip so they get crispy on the other side. I'm actually gonna grab the cheese. The other thing is, if you weren't a noob like me, you'd have two skillets, a bigger grill, or possibly a larger cast iron pan so you could cook multiple burgers, or rather, more than one person's burger at a time. That's the one thing here. Um, so we will be doing like a burger at a time, vibing. So if you had a little more efficiency, you could definitely do it a little bit more efficient than I am. But hey, you know, everyone's got methods to their madness. Is it still really cold for anybody where you live? I wish I could send you a little bit of this sunshine, man. It's a perfect night for a grill, a drink, a burger, America. These burgers are ready to rock, so then we just come in, easy peasy. A little white American, slap on on each. We're going back with the clothes, let it, you know? Absorb the flavor, the smoke. You got the bacon in there, you got the beef in there. Let the cheese get nice and melty. The cheese just oozing over the sides of the burgers here when you're making the smash burgers. I need a bigger camera so I can like hang out with you guys out here. I feel like it's just the camera on the grill and I'm just like talking to the trees. <laughs> but then you won't be able to see any of the details on the grill. I, I need to get a camera for the cooking streams, I think, especially if we're going outside. That's a good start. That's what we like to see. Not quite done. Back left needs to melt a little more. So what we're going to do is we're going to stack them.
We're gonna stack them, baby. This one will be mine. I'm gonna eat mine, let it cool off. Done. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That's exactly what you want. Juicy, cheesy, stacked up, just amaze balls. Let's close that back down because we still got things like uh, the bacon on there. And I'm gonna be right back. I'm just gonna grab the other burgers. And you know what, we're at it, man. A little bit more to drink, huh? Almost the weekend, you know? Five o'clock. Let's go for number two. Let's rock, ladies and gentlemen. Boom, you hear that nice sizzle. That's goals right there. When you're doing smash burgers, that's what you want. It's getting crispy. Close it up. Be right back, hold up now. Gotta grab some more supplies. Gotta get some cheds. That bacon should be rounding up good and then we're coming inside for the assembly. I'm gonna do something savage on this next one. Y'all aren't ready for it. We're triple cheesing. We're triple cheesing, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna go cheese stack cheese. Can you ever have too much cheese? Oh man. Beautiful, beautiful question, honestly. Yeah, there we go. Bacon's working now. It's about time. About time. Sorry, chat. Flipping bacon takes supreme focus. It's hard for me to talk and flip bacon at the same time. <laughs> I can play PUBG and talk at the same time, but when it comes to cooking and whatnot, a little different. All right, let's let that go the lid open there for a second. Let that go a little bit, let them burgers heat up before we hop in for the flip number two. We'll smash them up. As I said, if you're just tuning in, I need to get a new spatula for these. I wouldn't recommend using one that lits in it. But it gets the job done, you know? Gets the job done. There you go. Smash them down nice and flat. Close it back up like we did earlier, about 30 seconds, give it. Yo, also, we got the, we're rocking the, uh, the stream shoe, by the way. We got the pink pig, some Nike. And Lewis sent them to us. We're out here grilling in style. Hambito <laughs> had to match, you know? All right, should be good. We're coming in for the flip. Remember, what you want to see is a nice brown. That's it, on the money. Four for four, y'all. We know we're cooking through proper. Yo, actually, let's give a little, we'll let that open cook for a second. We're gonna get the little corner spin. Turn that burner off. We're getting a little greasy on the bacon. Let's drop that out. A little, little grease spillage, I think. I covered it good in tinfoil, but I mean, we're gonna be careful for that stuff. Going for the cheese. I actually might need to sprinkle a little baking soda back there, to be honest. Let's see if we can drop it with that. All right, bringing the bacon in, chat, BRB, one second. Yeah, that done the trick. All right, now we stack. Oh, oh! This, like I said, we're going wild on this one. Let's hit it with the, let's hit it with the, the triple chiff. That get in the middle there. Get nice and good. All right, that's about to pull, and then, uh, yo, we're going to the assembly. Time to rock. Put these burgers together. So, how's that melt? We got a little more. We want a little more. 
That ain't looking up to standard yet. I'm just a little worried about them flames under there, but I think we're okay. Let's cut that. It's time, baby. Get that goodness out of there. Look, look, ooh! Little juice, little melt. Looking like a million bucks. All right, we're gonna let the corn sit a little bit. Let it keep cooking up there. I don't know how hot this bacon pan is. Let's get that there. We're going to the assembly table, ladies and gentlemen. Dang, and we're back. Look at that technology, man. Oh, you know what? Hold on. We're running outside real quick. I'm, I'm putting some buns on the grill. It's a quick toast, you know? Girl doesn't need to be too hot for that because she's already pretty warm. That'll take two seconds. Let me test that up. All right, what's your, I need to see in chat what's everybody's favorite burger topping. What do you, what do you, what do you like the best? When you're getting a burger, what are you ordering? All the produce, you know, we don't do, we're not big on tomato here, I'm not gonna lie. Not big on tomato here, so we skip that usually. We like pickles, we got the green leaf lettuce, we got some bacon, obviously cheese. If you eat hamburgers, you might be a serial killer. Wait, what I say? Uh, some Thousand Island dressing, because that's what we like to do with the smash burger, spice it up a little bit from the, you know, the unique ketchup. But let's be real, if you eat hamburgers, you, you know, yeah, never mind. We got a lot of hot takes here about food. Some agree, some don't. That's we love each other. We're a family, you know? You agree to disagree. If everybody was the same, that shit would be boring. Huh? Uniqueness, baby. That's what we do. That's what we do. All right, let's build them, baby. Oh, so Be saying hi, chat. I don't know if you can hear it. All right. When we're building, like I said, we do like to do Thousand Island. Little dollop. Little dollop. Hit the, oh, hit the drawer for a little butter knife. Spread it out, spread it up. A little too much, that's all right. We just drop it down onto the bottom bun. Get the sauce on the both sides. Honestly, you don't need it though. These burgers, they're juiced out of their minds. And like I said, bun of choice is up to you. We like to use a little more of on the fluffy side because uh, these sons of guns is juicy. I left my spatula outside, forgive me chat. Whiskey's starting to go to my head, you know? Leaving things behind and whatnot. As I get older, the more when I drink, I get so like. <laughs> All right, one, boom, two. I would like to get a little more melt on this third piece, you know, but like I said, we took a risk. We tried something different. Head to the bacon. You want it to break in half, right? That's a perfect. Crisscross applesauce, vertical, horizontal. All right? Vertical, horizontal, boom. Any way you like. All right, a little green leaf. Nothing too big, it's more, it's like a garnish, you know? I don't wanna eat a, you know, eat a plant. I just want a little extra, you know? A little extra greenery on my uh, burger. Boom. We're finishing off pickle chips. Oh, I love these things. Mmm. I love some pickle chips, man. Drop a couple of them bad boys out. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. It's the final countdown. Time to top them and bop them. Get a little plate here, a little presentation shot. You know what I'm saying? Sorry if that hurts your ears. Rack them and stack them, top them and bop them. Full burger shot before we're gonna up her in half, ladies and gentlemen. That smash burgers in the deli. Like I said, the burger to bun ratio, the, the bun's a little large, 
But we like that big bun to soak up all those juices from the burgers, and you're gonna see it here once we chop it up in half. All right? Voila. There you have it. Juicy smash burger goodness. All right. Double patty, double cheese, little bacon. Now throw whatever you like on there. You know, maybe you like it cooked a little different. As you can see here, you know, I went a little more medium rare with this one. Alyssa likes hers a little more well done. However you like it, you know? I, I ain't here to judge you. Just don't eat it medium. All right, because then you're crazy. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Do whatever you like, huh? Whatever you like, but there it is. Oh, let's go pull the corn. Not like uh, grilling corn is invented anything, but let, let, you know, let's go see how we're looking on the corn. I don't know if I want to shuck that in front of y'all. That's a pain in the butt. Let's go grab that corn real quick. Usually we do some French fries, but I've been lazy. I'm making fries from scratch these days. I usually just buy the pre-made ones, you know, hit up some oil, just drop them in real quick. But tonight we're gonna keep it a little light, hit up some corn, hit up some burgers, you know? But once again, the final product here, the layers, the assembly, the cook, Flavortown USA, ladies and gentlemen. Flavortown USA. Let's break down a piece of corn. You know, we got to get the uh, the full effect. It's probably going to burn my hand, but let's see how the corn came out. You guys ever grill corn? I mean, maybe some people don't never grill corn before. It's tasty when you grill it. Woo! Oh, yeah, that's looking good. It's looking, look at that nice char there. Hot as a mother. Woo! I will say that is one hot piece of corn. That's what we want. We want, you want, you want a little, you want a little crisp on there, you know? Sorry, I'm doing this like a because this shit is hot. There you are. We got a little nice North Carolina yellow summer corn grilled up with the burger. Clean that up so it doesn't look like such a mess in here. And bon appetit, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to eat. Dinner is served. That's a nice light summer meal. Nothing crazy, you know? I told you before we started, it wasn't gonna be a crazy long one. This is light work, this type of meal, you know? But it's perfect for the summer, nice and easy. Loads of flavor, extremely tasty. Let's get that final pick up in there. You know, for the for the tube. On an 80 degree summer night, this is the meal I want to eat. I'm gonna take you guys for a ride back up top. Hey, what's up? Get you up there a little bit. Yeah, I think that's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, Hamley. Thanks for tuning in for uh, a return deli stream. I know it's been a couple weeks. I know this was delayed from last weekend, but I think we're gonna be doing the midweek deli streams. Uh, moving forward, weekends are probably gonna get washed for a little bit until I can figure out the dad life. So thanks, y'all. I freaking love you guys, I appreciate you guys. I'm gonna go eat these burgers, give some to Alyssa, cause I know she's starving as well. It looks like Sophie needs a little attention. We'll be back tomorrow morning. We got some games on the menu. We're playing with Bly tomorrow, for anybody wondering. We got some awesome duos lined up in EU. Been a while since we played with Bly. Always a blast. So I will see everybody tomorrow morning. Hamley, I love you. I appreciate you. And I hope you have a fantastic night, y'all. Peace.